China's state-run media now ramping up its propaganda against the United States, taking direct aim at Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. This week, a near-daily CCTV commentary attacks Pompeo for calling out China's mishandling of the coronavirus, one saying he is turning himself to be the enemy of humankind by spreading a political virus. On Thursday, the People's Daily, the official newspaper for China's Communist Party, ran an editorial saying Pompeo's rhetoric makes the U.S. look like it's dealing with a colossal moral deficit. Government-controlled Xinhua tweeted an animation further mocking the U.S.'s blaming of China, portraying it as hypocritical. Are you listening to yourselves? We are always correct, even though we contradict ourselves. In the shadows of the coronavirus outbreak, the war of words is creating a deepening rift between the U.S. and China. China is a very sophisticated country, and they could have contained it. They were either unable to or they chose not to, and the world has suffered greatly. It is a change from President Donald Trump's more sympathetic tone expressed repeatedly over the past few months. Look, I know this. President Xi loves the people of China. He loves his country. And he's doing a, a very good job with a very, very tough situation. While still not directly criticizing President Xi Jinping, President Trump is increasingly criticizing China for the virus's devastating and deadly spread, echoing Secretary of State Pompeo's hardline stance. Well, we know this started in Wuhan, China, we don't yet know from where it started. And in spite of our best efforts to get experts on the ground, uh, they continue to try and hide and obfuscate. Uh, that's wrong. It continues to pose a threat to the world. This is classic communist disinformation. This is, this is what communists do. The White House now further pushing the origin theory that the virus started in a Wuhan laboratory. Last week, CNN returned to Wuhan post-lockdown. We traveled to the lab in question, the Wuhan Institute of Virology a part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. We captured a few images from the exterior of the gated campus. Chinese officials dismiss allegations that it started here. And a statement Thursday from the U.S. Office of the Acting Director of National Intelligence said it concluded that the coronavirus was not man-made or genetically modified, but noted it was still evaluating theories linking the outbreak to the lab. CNN's early reporting of this revealed China's covering up and silencing of whistleblowers. Our reports also put into question China's official number of cases, which has been revised repeatedly and is widely believed to be vastly underreported.